Hello, my name is Kamba Daniel Tapang. This is my software simulation of the Moniac. The Moniac is a mechanical machine invented by Bill Phillips. Uh, in 1949, he's an inventor who thought of a way to represent how money flows throughout the economy using a mechanical system made up of tanks, uh, tubes, pipes, and water. In his system, the water represents money at each point in the economy. The tank represents a particular part of the economy. So it shows how much money, uh, depending on the amount of water in the tank, it shows how much money is in a particular part of the economy. Uh, for instance, this tank, it, assuming it were full, it will show that 100% of the money in the economy is in the national income ta tank. And the tubes show money flowing from one tank to the other. So this long tube here shows money flowing from the income tax, a tank, the national income tank, into two tanks. That is number one, the disposable income tank, and the taxes tank, which is true because when you get paid, uh, the government takes part as taxes, and another part is your disposable income, what you have left to spend. Now, from your disposable income. Part of it you can use for consumption, food, electric, uh, electricity, fuel, all the things you need, and part you can choose to save or invest. Uh, now, there's a pot here or a tank here called the domestic expenditure tank, which accumulates the sum of your savings or investments, the sum of consumption, and the sum of taxes into national income, into domestic expenditure. The reason for this is that we assume in this case that all taxes are spent within the country and end up being used domestically. Government spending is, all taxes are being used in government spending, that's the assumption. Assume that all consumption in this case is done and adds to domestic expenditure and also your investments, your savings are combined into domestic expenditure. We have a tank here, a small tank here for foreign balances. That suggests that part of the domestic expenditure is used on foreign trade. Uh, and we all know that money spent, local money spent on foreign uh, things is also known as imports. When we import goods, we are spending our local money on foreign things. Likewise, when we spend, uh, when we sell our own goods to the foreign market, when foreign people buy Ghanaian goods, then it means that it's being exported. Our goods are being exported, and it's an inflow of money into our national uh, domestic product, our gross domestic product, and then the cycle continues. So that's essentially what the simulation is trying to represent in a very tangible way. That's why it's actually a very good educational tool. It's meant to represent, to show vividly and tangibly how money flows to the economy so that it's intuitive and easy to understand and now let me begin the simulation i click start and as you can see water is flowing through the tubes and into the tanks uh, i'll just wait for it to fill up all the tanks to fill up so that we can actually start work and see how the simulation really works uh, i'll click show labels to show the label for each tank whilst we're waiting for the tanks to fill up so as you can see there's a label so, uh, uh, very close to each tank showing the name and uh, the percentage of gross domestic income that's within the tank and then the amount in dollars in billions of dollars that is represented within that tank and uh, this data was actually taken from the world bank website world bank data website okay so now that our tanks are full up uh let's get a bit interactive uh, in order to you can see that the tax tanks the investment tanks and the foreign balance tanks are all empty the reason for this is that the interest rate which controls my savings is set to zero and the tax rate is also set to zero that's why taxes are empty uh, if i change my tax rate from zero percent to let's take it as high as to 50 percent which is very unfair you realize that the Tax, the amount of money in the tax tank increases while the disposable income tax decreases. 
and this is actually true in real life if I, the government will take 50 percent of whatever i earn i'll have less to spend on myself whilst i'm paying more to the government and it shows clearly within the simulation likewise you can see that consumption has decreased because my disposable income has decreased uh, investment fund is still zero because our investment rate is zero so in if i increase that rate to 50 percent it starts to pull more money instead of it, it, it means that more money is going into investment and less money is going into consumption i'm choosing to it essentially means that i'm choosing to save more money than i actually spend on consumption on food electricity and the rest uh, and this shows my consumption is going down while my investment is gone up assuming i were to reduce my tax rate again back to any number at all that's below 50 let me change this yeah back to zero i see that water stopped flowing into the tax tank and my investment fund is going back up it's back to 50 percent the full 50 percent this time and my consumption has also gone up because less money is being taken by the government if i were to reduce the amount of money that i save from income to let's say let's try and get to 10 percent about 10 percent realize that a lot less money is in my savings account in my savings fund to call your account and i have more money to consume my taxes are still zero and the data that i got from the world bank is actually for just 10 years from the year 2000 and 2000 to the year 2011 so i can change any G gdp value from 2000 to 2005 to any year between 2000 and 2010 and whilst i change it you can see that the gdp value is actually changing the amount of money is changing okay so that's about it for the simulation and uh, the reason why foreign balances isn't changing is because i didn't have the equations to confidently represent the exchange rate there's no fixed exchange rate i couldn't find an index that would represent that uh, because there are several currencies which are all changing quite quickly so it wouldn't i wouldn't be able to provide a very realistic view of things if i just use any foreign exchange rate at all So that's about it for how it works and how things function in this simulation. Uh, I was really driven to do this because I feel that it's very important for people to understand basic economic concepts. Uh, they can appear very abstract if you look at graphs and equations and all those things. But if you look at something that's tangible, something that's intuitive to understand, it becomes a lot more simple when you can interact with it, when you can change values and actually vividly see how it affects money in other parts of the economy then it becomes easier to understand it becomes easier to uh, absorb for everyone else so i think it's a very important learning to i recommend this in classes all around ghana if possible the world will be very exciting very interesting very nice uh, i also think that in the future with more work on the equations the accuracy and then how complex the equations are it could be used as a useful predictive tool there are a lot of predictive economic tools out there but i think that because this has the added benefit of intuition and 